the Bible says the biblical light that creates the world that comes up every day, which is the sun, regardless of Psalms 84, 11, it says the biblical light that creates the world, the same light also is the biblical light that life every man that comes into the world. So nowhere can we discuss this logically when I talk to ministers, preachers, and even the people of NASA or the National Space Administration. They have this idea that black molecular mass such as meteorites floating in outer space was in existence before the sun. So the way I had to correct this is that the biblical light that created the world is talking about the sun. Ancient Egypt, do we have winged sun that's on all the Egyptian temple walls? You go back to Babylon, if you believe the 400-year-old mistranslated European King James Bible narratives, which is a European King James man-based Lord God world religion narrative. They're telling you that a man in a robe with a beard and a penis, that's the old bearded man image of Jehovah. Or they're telling you Jesus, another bearded individual in the robe that has a penis. So they're telling you two molecular man-based Lord God world religion characters created the molecular earth, created the atomic electrical hydrogen light of the sun, which is false. Why? Because if I bring you back to physics and astronomy, we had the atom, electron around the atom, then we had the molecule. So it's three, atom, electron, and molecule. So in, in actuality, they tell you a man in a robe called Jehovah created the world and the sun and the universe, which is nonsense. Why? Because if we see this hydrogen light around the human cell and hydrogen light above the earth every day as the sun, hydrogen light plasma, then this is the biblical light that created the world. nonsense why because if we see this hydrogen light around the human cell and hydrogen light above the earth every day as the sun hydrogen light plasma then this is the biblical light that creates the world but the biblical light in the book of first john 1 1 is also that creates the world is also the biblical light that life every man that comes into the world so this is why when i use this video to educate ministers preachers people who work at nasa i tell them Erase the molecular man-based Lord God world religion character. Every man has molecular body, molecular blood, okay? So, Jesus was a man, prophet. He tried to teach people about the truth and all that. 
but he still was a molecular man with electrons around his cell, atoms for his soul. So when we talk about atom, electron, and molecule, there was no molecular earth, molecular meteorites, or asteroids in the black outer regions of space before 1 John 1 1 biblical light that exists in the black outer regions of space before create the fabric on your world. So here we see the same light going around the human cell in microbiology 101 with the electron microscope. Then we go to the white corpuscles. Also in high school books and biology books, they never show you the white light around the white corpuscle. They never show you in high school books or biology books in, in uh, eighth grade, the real holy hydrogen light of creation. That's what I call it. The biblical holy hydrogen light of creation. Now this light not only create the world, but how many colors in the rainbow? Seven. Seven light, seven colors in the rainbow. Just let me do this so you can see. Seven colors in the rainbow. How many uh, rainbows around the zone of light in the book of Revelation? The biblical light that created the world has a rainbow. The sun has a rainbow. They are the same. So, if how many colors in white light? We say Roy G. Biv. That's how you say the seven colors in white light. R O G, I mean R O Y is Roy, red, orange, and yellow. G is green. Biv is three colors blue, and deagle, and violet. So say Roy G. Biv. That's how you remember the seven colors in the rainbow. So the seven spirits in the book of Revelation that created the five billion year old world and the black outer region of space is talking about the hydrogen light spectrum. So the hydrogen light spectrum also has uh, seven uh, rainbow uh, spectrums emanating from it. But before I get off track, I want to say that the seven spirits in the King James Bible is talking about the hydrogen light spectrum or the seven rainbow colors. But even inside the um, kitchen, you can take a fork and put it on the stove, and then you will see as soon as you apply fire to the uh, fork and turn the flame up, the fork will turn red hot. And steel mill, you take a torch to a piece of iron or steel and keep it there long enough, the steel starts dripping liquid hot, molten hot. So through a volcanic eruption, this is where we come full circle, back to the biblical light trade in the world and not a man. Not any of the false European man makes Lord God were religion characters, such as Jesus or Jehovah. These are molecular men in white robes with beards, and they both have penises, Jesus and Jehovah. So we cannot put the false European man makes Lord God were religion characters in our space with a molecular body. But we can put the atom electron in our space, which is the sun, hydrogen light plasma. So 